Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to day 28 of the Exy Hacks 30 Day Challenge. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you two hacks um, that you could do in your Exy store. One of them is getting a custom web address and the second one is getting a custom email address. Now a custom web address is just an easier way to direct customers to your Exy store. So at the current moment, if you don't have a custom URL address, this is how it looks, just like mine's. It will have www.exe.com forward slash shop forward slash your shop name. When you get a custom web address, it won't have this part right here. It would just be www.yourshopname.com. And by having it that way and simplifying your URL, it will make it a lot easier for people to remember you as a brand, for them to type in the URL and go straight to your store. So it is a great benefit of having a custom web address. Now, if you're interested in proceeding or maybe just even learning a little bit more, all you need to do is sign in to your Etsy store. And if you go to your dashboard right here and you go to marketing, and you go to custom web address, this is where you will go to go ahead and acquire your custom web address. They do it through a company, an integrated partner of Exis, it's called Hover, and what you would do is you would just follow the prompts to buy your custom web address. Now keep in mind, you will be buying it for a whole year, so you pay one-time fee for the entire year. They do offer 50% off because you are an Exis seller. And all you need to do is just click right here go ahead and sign in and follow the prompts. Now, in addition to buying a custom web address, what I, I would highly recommend, whether it's through this company or through whoever you want, it doesn't have to be through this company, is buying a professional email. And you could do so with them as well by clicking here on email, I'll give you a little bit more information right here so you guys could learn a little bit more. But instead of you having, you know, nancybadijo at gmail.com let's say that's your gmail address that you're providing maybe to your customers or putting in your business cards is it's a lot harder for someone to hack your account if you have a professional email from your domain versus if you have a gmail.com everyone that you know just for safety and just for professionalism it looks better if your domain was let's say like mine's is for instance, info at nancymarketingtools.com, right? That would be more professional than if my email was nancymarketingtools at gmail.com. Not only does it look better with the domain, but it's also safer for you because it would be a lot harder for people to hack your email. So this is another thing that you might want to think about for your business. You don't have to do it right now, but maybe in the future. So I hope you guys enjoy this hack. Guys, don't forget to like, comment, and share. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And thank you for watching.